Thank you. Appreciate it. Tonight's the night. Tonight was the night. And uh, going back to the afternoon shoot around, you could tell your guys are really focused on this one tonight. Oh, they came in with so much energy, so much focus, attention to detail, and I thought we were ready to go. I thought we, there was a great indication of shoot around today. All right, let's go through the game. The Knolls get up by six, and then Robert Brown comes off the bench and scores on three floaters in a row. I've been struggling for a while, and I didn't didn't play him. Um, he didn't have particularly great practices the last couple of days. Uh, came right in, sat over there, was focused, watched the game, got a good feel for it, came right in and, and played extremely well and got to the basket and made that little float of his and kind of got us back in the game, got us going offensively. At that time, they had turned up the heat a little bit, and we were having a tough time struggling and executing our offense. Let's talk about the job ranking into defensively in the first half on snare. Oh, he was tremendous. He was tremendous. Uh, and I was kind of worried about the uh, second half um, because he wasn't there available to play. Um, but uh, the first half, he did a great job on him, kept him quiet, and we were able to sustain it throughout the game. All right, let's talk about Rankin. What is his physical condition? What's going on? Well, he started out um, talking and going over some adjustments at halftime on the board, and all of a sudden he sits in the front row, and he's just throwing up right there and it, all over the floor, and uh, he didn't even hear the halftime speech. He was back in the bathroom throwing up, came out and started his second half, and right before the media timeout, he was, Coach, I can't, I can't go, I can't go. I need one, and I uh, subbed in, and he he was sitting on the bench, and I came back over to him, and uh, I said, Mark, he said, need you ready to go? And he said, yeah, I'll be ready at the media. And I turned around and looked to put him in the game, and he wasn't there. And uh, the trainer said he'd gone in and still throwing up in the locker room. But yet your team came up with stop after stop. What was the key in the second half? Well, I think they we, we did a good job. We made an adjustment with the ball screen. They, they kind of got in a little bit of a rhythm running some ball screen action and uh, we're getting into the lane. They got a dunk. They got layups. They had a kickoff for a three. We made a little bit of an adjustment to go over top to screens. But our guys just dug in and decided, you know, we hey, we're going to go around and get stops because we, we talked about before this game, do whatever it takes to win this game. We have to do whatever we, it takes to finish this ball game. As it turned out, the Hokies hit 16 of 18 free throws in the last two and a half minutes. Were you surprised they went with the hack-a-shack with about two and a half minutes to go when it was a six-point game? Yeah, I was, I was definitely I was definitely surprised, uh, especially the way they were pressuring us a little bit and, uh, you know, forcing other guys to kind of make plays and make us play off the dribble a little bit. But, um, you know, our guys uh, stepped up and knocked free throws down and made the free throws down the stretch. Yeah, the odds say Barksdale's not going to step up there and drill them like that statistically, but tonight he did. And as a result, second game in a row, he puts up career high. Well, you know, the last couple of games, he, he's been tremendous. He's been coming in, working on his game, and uh, he's at practice early uh, working on this game. He's focused. Um, he, he, he's on a mission right now. Playing really well for us right now. Rebounding the ball and scoring the ball. So I'm uh, really pleased with him. As well, pleased with the entire team. Everybody that played contributed tonight. Will Johnston had three three steals. I uh, love him but sticking his nose in it, just making, making plays. And Green ended up with 26 and five assists. <laughs> green is green. Green is green. <laughs> green is green. Still doing what he do. You know, what's interesting is you look at it, you know, you had 10 guys play at least eight minutes. Just about everybody got a rebound. Just about everybody scored. That's what you need, right? That's what we need. Just a little bit from everybody. Just a little bit from everybody. And, um, you know, I think the guys are com coming on with that. And we, we talk about it. Make plays when it's available for you. Make plays. And we did it tonight. And finally, I'm going to let you go with this. First time in nine years, Virginia Tech beats the same conference opponent on the same day. In March of 2004, it was in the Big East. The Hokies beat Georgetown on the road in men's basketball and at the Big East Tournament in women's basketball. It makes for a nice double-header sweep over a pretty good program. It's a great day to be a Hokie. Good job, JJ. Yep, thank you. Appreciate more, it. More